Hi guys, Todd here with TW Home Show. I'm back here today to show you my 2014 Tiffin Open Road. I'm in front of the Water Bay right now, and I had left this in Kentucky over the winter time, and I got a couple uh, freezing spells during the uh, nights this winter, and one of the issues was a frozen uh, water pump filter housing, and I'll show you that closer if we get in here. This is the uh, fresh water tank, of course, here. Fresh water tank bay. And right up here, conveniently, is the water pump. So that's in a pretty decent location for a replacement. I think the water pump's okay. But right here, going into the water pump, is your water pump filter housing. And actually, this cap can come off as well. And it's got like a metal filter screen in it and an o-ring to keep it sealed so I thought it was just loose but I don't know it's something more going on there so I ordered the filter and cup housing for replacement I'll show you that right now and I bought these on Amazon I'll leave the link below but it was a package of two of these so I'll keep one as a spare. It looks identical. So as far as I can tell, I'm going to go ahead and show you the leak first and then I'll replace it with one of these. So I'm going to leave you over here on this side with the camera pointed and I'm going to turn to fill my water reservoir tank, fresh water tank, and show you what's happening. So if you can see that, it is leaking out of that water filter housing. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off now. So that can make a pretty big mess of your day, of your RV trip. I'm going to show you how we can replace this and get back on the road again. All right, got that out of the way. Now, let's see how it goes into the pump. I think it's threaded, yep. So it's threaded into the pump there. There we go. Let's match it up to our new one. You can see, here's the old one with water in it. Here's our new one. Looks identical, so we're good to go. I'm going to use some thread tape on here and uh, we'll put it back together. All right, I've doubled up the tape up here and on these threads. I noticed they had some sort of putty on there before, some plumber's putty. Try that.
Alright, see if that leaks. I'll go turn on the water. Okay guys, water's on. I don't see any leaks, so we're good to go. So this was the final leak issue I had this season. And we've got that resolved, so everything's back in order, and we're ready to hit the road again. Hope this video helped you. Subscribe to my channel for more helpful tips on your motorhome. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.